Hello from CNN Center. I'm Natalie Allen with breaking news out of Aurora, Colorado. We are just learning that U.S. resident Najibullah Zazi has been arrested just moments ago by the federal authorities. That's the picture of him coming, being let out of his apartment by the FBI. He, of course, became a person of suspicion after an informant led police to investigate his apartment where they found backpacks and information about New York's subway system. And also, he reportedly uh, admitted to having ties to al-Qaeda. That was the latest news until this moment, just a few moments ago, when they led him in handcuffs out of his apartment. Let's go to CNN's Jim Spellman, who was there for us, to bring us more on what we're seeing and what we're learning tonight. Jim. Really, uh, they are closing up the SUVs right now containing Nazi Bullah Zazi and his father, Mohammed Zazi were taken out, as you said, moments ago in handcuffs here from their apartment in a Denver suburb. It's been a crazy couple of days with very little information coming out from the FBI or other federal sources. But what we know is after three days of questioning that uh, the FBI did of Mr. Zazi and one session with his father, Mohammed Zazi, the two men were now out here in handcuffs. They had been scheduled to have... A, another meeting this morning with the FBI, which was called off sometime early this morning for reasons that we don't know. And uh, all of today, we sat here watching Mr. Zazi's apartment. And uh, there was uh, his father came and went several times. We didn't see the son, uh, 24-year-old uh, Nazi Bula Zazi, until right now when he just came out uh, here. The, the parking lot, as you can probably see, is full of federal SUVs. They're about to head into downtown Denver. Uh, where he'll be taken into custody. No word yet on what the charges uh, were against him uh, yet, and here they go, falling right past me right now. Come in, Mr. Zazi. So, Natalie, that's what we know here. So they were taken uh, quietly. Uh, w did you see the FBI arrive at their home this evening? Were you there when the FBI arrived to arrest them? Yes, sir. First, a couple of uh, sheriff's deputies came uh, from the county here, Arapahoe County, and uh, sort of to keep the perimeter safe, and then the federal SUVs rolled in. They went up. Some uh, An agent had a battering ram ready to use, but uh, they went quietly in the door. There was, they didn't have to use any of that, and it seemed to go off without a hitch. So we didn't hear even any, any loud voices or anything. came out uh, one at a time, first the father, Muhammad, then the son, and Nazi Bull and Natalie. And bring us uh, uh, up to speed, Jim, on what we've known about uh, what they allegedly learned about Najib Olazazi and his uh, possible links to al-Qaeda. And what do we know about his father, Mohammed, who was also arrested this evening? Uh, well, we know, frankly, we know very little, really. There's, uh, we know that the uh, FBI here in the Denver area was looking at, was looking at um, storage facilities here. We know that they were going around and taking photographs to storage facilities as reported by our affiliate KUSA here. And uh, beyond that, we really know very little. He, he uh, got an attorney earlier this week, and went, like I mentioned, to three voluntary uh, meetings, questionings with the FBI downtown Denver here into the FBI's office, and really don't know very much and definitely don't want to speculate even as to what, he's been, uh, what, what they've been taking into custody for here tonight, Natalie. All right, Jim Spellman for us there in Aurora, Colorado. Very interesting developments for us. Uh, we'll get back in touch with you, but recapping what we are just learning just moments ago in Aurora, Colorado, the FBI moved in on the apartment of Naji Bullah Zazi. Uh, there you see them leading him out in handcuffs. They also arrested Mohammed Zazi. Again, hearing from Jim, we do not know what the charges are. We do know that. Uh, Naji Bullah Zazi had been uh, questioned for three days about possible links to terrorist groups and about evidence found uh, in his apartment um, that seemed suspicious as far as possible investigations and research into areas of New York City. So that is the story. According to our producer, the two are headed to downtown Denver with the FBI.